line drive kick just barely a touchback and not out of bounds. So here comes Jake Fromm. Fromm straight back pressure up the middle hit as he throws a downfield shot and coming back wins a battle but it's picked off as Tony Brown went up and just took it away from the receiver. But Hurts has had moments as a quarterback. The best thing you can say about him, he's mobile, has a strong arm, and he's a winner. And the handoff, Robert Foster ends around, slips a tackle, gets the edge, and the Tides move the chains here. Much like Georgia, trying to get the ball to the perimeter, to the outside. That time they were able to outflank the Georgia defense. Hurts still got it, flips it short. Calvin Ridley, the Tide's best receiver, was open and dances out of bounds near the marker before Malcolm Parrish forced him out. Low order and Roquan Smith, the leader of the defense. Hurts, a design run. This is what he does best. Muscles into the secondary and the Tide set up at the Dogs 31. It's just a quarterback power play. Straight back. Escapes. Makes a cut. And Jalen Hurts again. First down in the red zone. Ridley alone up top. Real difference maker in the passing game for Alabama. Harris is on him. Hurts looking that way. Kirk throws it for the end zone, but over the head of Ridley. And Parrish had fallen down. That's and on Hurts. He had it. Andy Papanassas grew up an Alabama fan. Played at Ole Miss and now back here for his senior season. Very reliable from short distance. This is from 35. It is a false start, a flag before the snap, which again was high. False start. Offense. Number 82. The timing was off, and that was ugly from the start. The Chubb is the tailback. Brown fakes it to him, fires a slant, Godwin has got it, and he's got a first down across the 35. Fromm throws that route really well. Third and 15. Tide rush four. Fromm has time. Nice throw downfield, and the traffic ball tipped in the air and incomplete again. He was looking for whims, and Deontay Thompson got a hand. Empty backfield. Hurts is keeping a straightforward call, but it goes backwards as the dogs swarm. Jonathan Ledbetter off the edge. It's fourth down. Watch how Alabama gives this offensive line a lot of looks. They disguise their pressure with their linebackers and Minka Fitzpatrick. It's a run on third and five, and Sony Michelle gets the first down before Matt Wilson could wrestle him down. Third and three. It's Michelle. And now a whistle. And a flag down. The defensive player jumped into the neutral zone, causing the offensive player to react. By rule, that's defense offside. A five-yard penalty, and it results in a first down. He's got man coverage. Slide it. The uh, protection to the right. From from the pocket delivers a high throw. It's caught finally. That's Javon Wims after a couple of drops. Makes the catch. Or check it. That's Riley Ridley. Yeah, the dogs sub, so the tide had some time to get fresh bodies. And Fromm is chased and sacked by Anthony Averett off the corner. It was a promising drive. Now they're back in their own end, facing third and 20. Got to hurry. Just get it off. And it's a third and long run. Can Michelle. Creates some magic. He gets the edge and tight ropes into Alabama territory. Sony Michelle, Rose Bowl hero, makes the first big offensive play tonight. DeAndre Swift, the freshman, is now the tailback. Excellent receiver. You fake it to him. Swift in the middle. Fromm was looking that way and now tries to escape. And he'll be tracked down. Christian Miller, the linebacker, got him a few yards behind the line. Here's my guy, Kurt Rodrigo, Hot Rod Blankenship, the sophomore from Marietta, booted a career-long 55-yarder in the Rose Bowl. Key play after a script kick just before half. This from 41. And Blankenship 
Does what Papanastas could not. Last two rushes, no gain for Hertz. Third and six from the pocket. Hit as he throws, and it's underthrown, but Ridley is not going to be able to come up and get it. Hertz picks himself up off the rug. Negates 14 yards of field position. Huddle quickly, flipped in the flat. Swift makes a cut. And the talented back from Philly, the freshman, a big gain out across the 35. He beat Mac Wilson on that play. Well, he is dangerous, and George's theme continues. Get the ball on the perimeter. And second and five. Eason pulls it, makes a little cut, shows some elusiveness, and the quarterback has a first down at the 45. Top receiver, Chris Wims, number six to the left, hasn't caught a pass yet. Brom took a look downfield. Now checks it down. It's complete. And it's Riley Ridley. Little brother making a big impact before Calvin does. Dogs are set up. His prep work allows him to make checks, get out of a bad run play into a good run play. Not just run to pass, run to run. Comes to blitz late. Dogs need six. They're in field goal range from downfield. There is Wims going up and making his first catch. He beat Averett. That is his favorite route. From flushed backpedals and delivers a dangerous throw over the middle. He was knocked down. Michelle frustrated. That was behind him, but read at the pressure by Payne and again, company. Lewis is coming in. He's throwing it off his back foot. Blankenship again from 27. Georgia had that first and goal. Three plays netted nothing. And Blankenship remains perfect on the season inside of 40 yards. See if now Bama decides to maybe open it up a little and try to get Jalen Hurts running and throwing. They haven't gotten Harris or Scarborough going. This is their run, and Hurts makes a cut. Jalen Hurts in the clear, in the dog's territory. When you're struggling, just kind of keep it simple. Hurts, take a look in the backfield. Wanted to throw downfield. Hit and sack from the blind side by Devin Bellamy. Terry Godwin is the returner. And Scott, it was earlier in the training tent, Tom Rinaldi reports, seems to be okay. That's a beautiful job. That's a big play in a game like this out at the five. Tied rush four from has time and delivers a strike across the middle. And it is Riley Ridley stepping up. How about the poise of the freshman on that throw? Bring some pressure. Dogs pick it up, and it's a low throw. It was behind Hardman. Bam, they're going to go fast, trying to catch Georgia off guard. They're trying to get lined up. E4. Hurts. Trying to create something. Buying time. Runs to the sideline as it just throws it into the bench. They clock at five. Side rush four. Prom gets it out. He's thrown behind. Ridley, who comes back and makes a nice hand catch. It's a first down. Expecting man, it thought he would sink back, and instead he sat underneath the throw. On third and ten, it's another run. And Michelle's free. Tony Michelle has been the answer on third and long against this Bama defense. The pitch it to Swift. Makes a cut. And the freshman from Philly, another first down. Dogs trying to add to this lead. Still have those timeouts. From steps up, escapes a lot of room, and from no slide, he's going to take a shot. First down in the red zone. Don't forget the tight end Nauta is also off to the left. Got a hurry. Play action from fires down inside the five, slipping away and reaching for the end zone is Godwin. Stop him just short. First down. Be surprised to see Michelle maybe in the wild dog. Yep, Fromm motions out. It's Miko Hardman instead. The receiver comes in. They hand it. Nope, they keep it. And sprinting to the edge. The Dogs! Barking in the first half. Very rare to see from a true freshman. Comes off a of Rose Bowl when he set his season high in completions. Fromm 
and the Dogs. It's their turn to roll in the first half. 13 nothing. And here it is. Tua Tungabaloa, a true freshman from Hawaii, gets the second half start. He keeps it. He's a nifty runner, not quite as powerful as Hurts, but he's in there because he's throwing it. He, he, he is known as a distributor, a great passer. By the way, there's three true freshman wide receivers in the game for Bama as well as Tungabaloa tries to dodge the rush. Cannot escape. Sacked by Roquan Smith, the Butkus Award winner. Dogs block it, but they got a head start. A flag is down. They came flying off the edge out of the starting blocks, but the false start is going to erase this block punt. Take another look to see if he actually got in the neutral zone. What a huge call. Scott is methodical. He's had three punts blocked in his career. When he gets them off, he typically booms them. And now Hardman has a crease. Nico Hardman is knocked down. That was a very tough tackle on the coverage team by Cam Sims, the receiver. Chubb tries to bounce it, but it'll be dropped for a loss. Strung out by the hard-hitting safety, Ronnie Harrison. Maria? Saban, meanwhile, hoping, Kirk, that someone on this defense can, can make a play, a takeaway. The spark Bama. Second and 13 from flips it in the flat. And in heavy traffic, Swift tries to cut back. And back-to-back -back losses. So the tie defense pushing the dogs back. Isaiah Bugs, the big fella, made that play. Look at that left tackle, true freshman. Dogs don't pressure. And Hungabaloa has all night hit hard, spinning around, trying to escape and create, and now he's in the clear. The freshman shows some toughness, creating a desperately needed third down conversion. Anna in Georgia territory at the 44. First down throw, a slant high, caught. Robert Foster, the senior, just his 12th of the season. Young kid feeling it. Safety's down, loading the box. Bama throws right behind him. Screen, rugs, true freshman to true freshman, and he busts down inside the 20. It's near the marker. Second and one, throwing again. Slant low, and it's Ruggs, the freshman, going down again. First and goal, Alabama. This is what a lot of Alabama fans have, have talked about, the possibility of talking about Loa. Throwing again. End zone. Touchdown! Henry Ruggs! We got a freshman quarterback duel in Atlanta, and the Tide are back in it. But knowing they needed to throw the ball, they go to the freshman, and he lights it up. Hardman will bring it out. Nicole Hardman knocked down at the six-yard line. Hardman could have left it there. Toast to bring it out, paid the price, tied with flying down. Play action on first down. As Fromm is trusted to make a throw backed up, and Godwin makes the catch and moves the sticks. I mean, Are these guys really true freshmen? How good is this? After Jacob Eason was injured in the third series of the season. Many feel the dogs wouldn't be here without Fromm coming in. Now Job dropped behind the line. Averett invaded the backfield. Third down right here for Fromm. Delivers under pressure. Downfield. Caught Hardman. A foot race. Escapes and scores. Good advice. He hasn't been under fire much in meaningful games, as we said. Rolls, flips it high into traffic, intercepted. DeAndre Baker made the young fellow pay for a mistake. And now the dogs try to extend this lead. Any points out of this drive, it's a three score game. Fromm again trusted to throw in first down, batted in the air, picked off. The tide respond, Raekwon Davis. 
It's another big man interception by Bama. And they're at the 40. You know, Payne didn't come up with the interception, but he was involved in causing it. And Gabaloa pressured, flushed, has space, and unable to escape Roquan Smith, but got nine. You better not sleep on his ability to create and scramble and take off and run. That was a quick nine yards. Harris barrels forward. They move the sticks. An interception, by the way, Kirk. You go back to Saban coach Bama teams in championship games. And Gabaloa chase delivers incomplete. Flying off the edge to pressure was the linebacker DeAndre Walker. It's fourth down. Uh, he, he jumped at Panastos, a nervous miss from 42 earlier. This from a yard longer. Not the prettiest, but it's crucial. The tide able to cash in Davis's interception, but only for three. Scott boots this one deep again. Hardman chose to bring it out last time. Doesn't make the same mistake twice. On sportsmanlike conduct, number 48 on Alabama. That's a 15 yard penalty. Top receiver Wims out of the game on third and six. Brom has plenty of time and delivers a high throw and a catch is made by Riley Ridley. Michelle is the back. Ridley's out there on the right on third and six. Brom has a clean pocket and delivers. A strike ball comes out. Not held long enough. Levi Wallace just ripped it away from Ridley. Side of two minutes in the quarter. Bo Scarborough hasn't yet got going. Big fella turns the corner and bangs across the 35. And that was my point last possession. There's no reason to go completely away from this running game. Late pressure. Hunga Bailoa throws it out there. It's caught. But Roquan Smith knocks down Scarborough. Tom, Georgia begins the final quarter beating Sony Michelle. And he busts out across the 20. Run between the tackles again, and Michelle busts loose across the 40, and the dogs are just driving it right at Bama. The drive all Sony so far, but he steps out and Chubb spells him and powers up the middle. This has to be eating Saban and Pruitt alive at 10-point deficit. They can't stop the middle run game. Chubb again. You know, Georgia's only played two close games that come from behind victory at Notre Dame in game two, the late game winning field goal. From pressured sacks right up the middle was Raquan Davis who made the pick and now that drive killer. To continue with the theme true freshman Najee Harris is in the game <laughs> and he makes a big play and Harris. It's nothing but freshman running around out here Kirk. It's been a frustrating night for Damian Harris their leader no relation and Najee. Getting a turn. That time they fake it to him. Tonga Valoa has lots of time and a big cushion for Cam Sims, who makes the catch. Still fighting, spinning, takes a big shot at the 46 from Trenton Thompson. Puts in a true freshman, hasn't played any meaningful snaps all year, and it's kind of sparked this Alabama offense. And now Harris is the four tailback, bounces it. Najee Harris in the clear, a powerful run, still battling and slung out inside the 10 by Roquan Smith. From the pocket, Hungabaloa to the end zone. Incomplete. Skying up. Trying to make the catch with Judy. Rugs very good at the field goal block when they got Oklahoma's. And come after that one. And Papanastos able to curl it through. You think this fan base is hungry to try to get their first since 80? Starving. Hardman ripped and throw down inside the 15. A vicious tackle by the man who was so fired up over there for Bama. They keep round before in the bench. Remember, he got a personal foul for taking a swing. Dogs need two to prolong the drive and chew on some clock. Hardman uh -huh. again. 
This was the look that scored the touchdown. This time they give it to Michelle up the middle and nothing doing. The tide rise up and stop him a yard short. Fourth down. Davis and Payne clogged the middle. Yeah, that was all Deron Payne in the middle. Damian Harris comes in motion. Tunga Villa fakes the run and now he's going to flip it to Harris in the flat. Makes a man miss. And Damian Harris, after a frustrating night, spins across the 50 into Georgia territory. You know, of all the backs that they have, he reminds me the most of a Mark Ingram type of back. We have two plays to get it. Gavaloa, a downfield shot. And here comes a flag, a battle on the edge between Parrish and freshman Devontae Smith. Remember, when Bama's gone tempo, it's been very productive with Tungabaloa in there. The lefty fires downfield. Judy goes up. Freshman to freshman again, and the tide set up inside the 15. Damian Harris is plastered in the backfield. Trenton Thompson is having a game tonight. Fourth down. Tungabaloa. Plenty of time surveying the field fires end zone touchdown Calvin Ridley finally makes an impact It's not of the tight end motioning in Time again high throw incomplete tied rushed for and that was delivered over the head of his receiver. Fourth down. Got to hurry again. Like Lock winding down. Harris has the handoff, fights off a high tackle, and just barrels out across the 45. Barely got that playoff. That was real close. Tied with tempo, testing the metal of this dog's defense. And Gabaylo, a sideline round. That's easy pitch and catch to Ridley. Be careful. Calvin Ridley starting to get involved now. I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm very surprised. It, it looks like we have a flag down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Keeper. Tunga by Loa. Lowers the head, shows the power, and gets a first down. He just ran over the senior Sanders. Yeah, he went right over top of him. Third and six. Saban preferring the, the steadier hand. At least in terms of experience. Well, it's because they're probably going to move over to the left a little bit and get a quick timeout. They get down. They do. And this will be the final play. Papanastas for the national championship from 36 yards. Michelle in the game, third and six. Pressure, flush, sacked way back at the 35 yard line. It will be a very long field goal attempt coming up. Papa asked us from 51, kicked the 55 yarder in the Rose Bowl. And then it's Blankenship trying to give Georgia the lead. Just slides it through. Tunga Bailoa dancing around, circling back, drops a disastrous first down play. Devin Bellamy got him back at the 42. Get outside of the pocket and play on second and 10. That's his youth right there. Think about Loa trying to make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins!
The Crimson Tide will not be denied. True freshman to true freshman. Tonga Bailoa to Devontae Smith. Alabama breaks Georgia Hearts. Nick Saban back on the summit where he has caught the bear with his sixth national championship. Bama has won five in nine years. And how fitting, Chris. And a night when we've talked so much about freshmen, it's true freshmen to true freshmen to win the game for Alabama. A 41-yarder after the sack, delivering the victory in overtime to Alabama.